Now I'm going to use this same model and I'm going to prepare it for Blue Sky Plan Ortho module. Uh, we will be adding buttons ability to add buttons to the teeth for uh, directed movement in the software, and that will be coming out very soon. But for the meantime, um, I do I add my buttons in Mesh Mixer. It's a very simple process. I'm already cleaning up the model anyways, so it doesn't take me but two or three minutes to add buttons. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Now, I'm not going to go over the selection process of which teeth, I, you know, why I'm doing certain teeth, but I'll just tell you, I'm going to add a button to quite a few teeth for this uh, particular case and I'm going to be placing them from first premolar to first premolar. Now one of the first things you want to notice is when you go to hit select surface, all these models are made out of tri triangles. You can, if I hit the W button, that brings up the wireframe. You can see how everything's made out of triangles. And it means you, um, when you select, you're selecting an entire triangle, not a portion of a triangle. That's important to know because as we try to modify the model, the smaller the triangles, the bigger the data file, or the, the, the more data in the file, but the easier it is to be precise. So everywhere that I want to I'll get rid of that, um, put a button on it, I'm going to make it, I'm gonna, I want to make a very fine, uh, smooth button. So to do so, I'm going to make this cursor pretty big, and I'm going to basically select the entire facial surface of any tooth I plan to um, add a button to. You don't have to be exact about this. Um, the only reason not to make it too big is the bigger the area, the more processing the computer's going to have to do. Now we're going to remesh this. We're going to make those triangles much, much, much smaller. I don't ever turn this on for this process, but I'm going to see if I can do sort of a live action let you see it. I'm going to go to remesh or hit the R button. And here's the triangles the surface is made out of. And I'm going to increase this. I usually go right about here. It's about 30 some percent, 25 to 30 percent. And there we go. See how small the triangles are now? I'm going to accept that. And so now, if I decide to select, I can make very fine, precise selections as opposed to these big, jagged selections. That's going to make anything I do from here on out much uh, smoother looking. Okay, so let's get out of there. Now, for the actual that, that's a, you know, I explained the process, but as you can imagine, this, the highlighting, remeshing takes less than a minute to do, and I think it's really worth it. Okay, now we're going to actually create our buttons. To do that, I'm going to turn it, hit the S button, and I'm going to change this to 15. One, five. Okay, hit the tab button so it knows what to inactivate that, to activate that, and I'm going to draw a straight line, I don't know, three to four millimeters tall, and then I'm going to hit Shift T. And I want to make sure this number is around 1.0. It can be 0.9 to 1.1, somewhere in that area. Um, and now I'm going to drag this out. Now, how far do I drag it out? There's no exact measurement. Um, all we're trying to do is create a more um, a notch on this tooth for the aligners to grab onto. And that's about as much as I like to have it. Maybe as thick as the triangle is wide, if that makes sense. Hit OK. And I'm going to repeat that on every single tooth. Shift T, I'm right 0.96. As big as the triangle is wide, that looks good. And I try to go along the long axis of the tooth. Um, is that critical? No, it's it's really not. But it's a good um, it's a good visual for me. And actually, as I go to align these teeth in Blue Sky Plan, I can use those um, if I get them just right for the actual. Um, for my own visual aid. Now, I didn't get that perfectly straight, but it's close enough. Shift T. Okay. Shift T. Now I have played around with, and this is 0.79, 1. Um, I have played around with uh, actually creating my own buttons and adding them to the teeth. That way I don't ever have to um, actually do this. And I can just add them on. It works, um, but this I find this to work pretty smoothly and quickly. So um, it's, it's your call. It would be very easy, or is very easy, to select this and to um, essentially, once we've got it moved out, to uh, select that same portion and uh, X. Uh, 
separate it and export it, then you'd have a button that you could attach to any tooth you wanted. But the time you would spend positioning that would be just about the same amount of time as it takes to draw the line. So, again, nothing wrong with that, just not something I find to be particularly necessary. And then let's do it one more time. I'm not terribly worried about it, but I, I did not look at the size of the fall off, you know, how the slope is generated, that 0.93 right there, when I did this one. Um, and I think it, it looks pretty steep, so I'm guessing it was probably in the 0.7. It's not going to matter. It really doesn't. Um, the more gradual it is, the more likely it's going to stay bonded to the tooth, but that's about it. So now I've got buttons on all these teeth. Um, you may not like that many buttons. Again, I'm not going to go into why I placed the buttons where I went. That's a whole much longer discussion, but that's how you add buttons in Mesh Mixer. I can now export this model, Control E, and then I can, you can't see what I'm doing here, but I'm going to go ahead and say uh, lower corrected. I'm going to highlight the one that I imported. Say hyphen buttons. So now, caps lock them. When I go to pull this into Blue Sky Plan, I know exactly which model to use because this one has buttons on it. Just remember, um, the more you remesh, the bigger the file is going to be. Not a big deal for what we did, but if you were to select the entire model, it's not going to harm anything, but it is going to make the model three to four times as big pretty quickly So uh, as far as the file that you're saving. so And it's going to take a while for it to process all that. So keeping it to the discrete areas you're going to be working on, uh, is, in my opinion, makes sense. All right, that, clears up, that finishes up what I do in Mesh Mixer. And um, hope that helps. Check out the other videos.